Okay, go ahead. Okay, so now we're gonna utilize our keyboard in order to customize some keystrokes for our switches with our Hitch 2.0. When you do this, you must use an external keyboard in order to customize the keystrokes. So the first thing we're gonna do is start by just plugging our hitch into our computer in the USB. And we're gonna ensure that our mode is down in the blue. Again, if we need to get into the customizable, we just click the select mode till we get to the very bottom or our blue row, okay? Next, we're gonna, uh, plug in our keyboard into the Hitch 2.0 and we just plug that in there, all right? And then we are gonna lastly plug our switch into our, we're gonna start with the S1 port and that's gonna be our custom. So now we're gonna move our program button which is over on the far right into the record mode which is up. And what you'll find is when you push your switch, you're gonna get a blue flashing light, which means it's in record mode. So I'm gonna utilize the tab feature for my customizable keystroke. So I'm gonna push my switch until I get the blue flashing light. And now I know I'm in record mode. Then I'm going to hit my tab button. And then I'm going to turn off my record by hitting my switch again, in which I get a solid blue. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the record mode by pushing the program button down, and then I can unplug my keyboard. And now when I hit the switch, I should be tabbing, as you can see, through the different options. So as you see, as I hit the switch, it tabs through the different link options. And that's how we use the customizable feature.